Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to Backfist Teardown Lab. Let's get into this. This is a Robo Rock S5. Currently, when you turn it on, the spinny thing doesn't spin around, the radar, so it complains. I can't remember the error code. Maybe it's error code one, something like that, but it just, you'll notice it because it can't spin up. It'll spin up the fans and nothing else. So what you want to do is just pull off that top panel. It has these push, uh, I guess, push grommet things that pop it. Just to unpop that. If you're used to working on cars, you'll definitely be used to pulling those apart. We do have to take off this hinge, unfortunately, because it does obscure access. It's only three screws in each. Try not to lose those. Let's put those aside. And then once you remove those three screws, of course, you can remove the back flap. Make sure you've turned it off. Turning it off is accomplished by holding that power button down. You don't really need to take off anything else now. You can leave your dustbin in even if you want. So pop these rubber covers. These are covering floating screw heads. So when you take the screws out, you'll notice you'll have three screws with an integrated washer. Those three go under these covers here. And that's because there's a button here and that allows it to detect when that pop is pushed. The screws at the top here are slightly different shape. You really can't mix them up. And I'm trying to keep it all together so that when I take the plastic lid off, it's going to keep the screws with it. We'll see if I'm successful or not. One more needs just a bit of a twist. I'm unsuccessful. Because <laughs> the floating ones fall straight through. So yeah, just pull those out with a magnet or something. Now the issue with this particular one and probably the issue with yours is that either the belt will be broken or the motor will be faulty. And you can see here the belt is working fine. I kind of wish I ordered a new belt at the same time. If you're ordering stuff, maybe you could see if you can get a new belt. However, in this case, it's definitely the motor not working. So undo the four screws around that radar assembly. I'll zoom in a bit so you can get a better look. You can see that's popped out. Now that has come out as a complete unit. On the bottom you'll notice there's a header here, that's the actual PCB connection, and that's what allows it to come out one piece. You don't have any other wires to undo. The last couple of things you have to do is actually take the motor out itself. So take the belt off like that, and there's just two screws. And these are a slightly smaller size, so you'll have to go down on your screwdriver grade. It really doesn't take too long at all. So there's your two little screws. You can see they're machine screws. And the motors just drop straight out and you just unclip it from the bottom of the PCB. Now, I went online and ordered this from Amazon. You can get them any places, eBay, the usual sort. I'll put a link down below so you can get your spare part. I'm just yunking it out. Now, if you're lucky and you get the exact right one, it will have exactly the same components. And in fact, this one uh, used to have one of those yellow bands. This was a, one I actually repaired. I managed to get another couple of days out of this before it totally died. Now, I've noticed that the uh, belt pulley isn't in exactly the same place. I'm just gonna do a bit of a test. It might well work like that, but I'm just gonna do a little bit of a test with a screwdriver just to see if we wanted to. Could, yes, you can. You can certainly push it up and down. So I'm just going to push it back to where it was on the other one, which was right on the top, just like that. So that's absolutely fine. Let's pop that in. We'll just rotate it around until the two screw holes line up. And there we have a couple of screw holes. And then we're just going to put those screws in. And if it doesn't go in right away, just slightly rotate the motor till those screw holes are giving you a bit of better alignment like that. We're almost there, guys. Now I'm going to show you how to move the belt on and off because there is a possibility your belt will be gone or mauled. Sorry, I got cross thread there. Be careful. It's a bit, a bit of a rush there. I cross threaded it, but now it's okay. So if your belt is gone, you're going to want to know how to thread on your new belt. We're just going to whip that belt off like that. Okay, so now you've got no belt. Pretend this is your new belt. What you do is hold it between the black plastic and the yellow, uh, orange plastic of the radar, the, the laser. 
LiDAR assembly, and you can see there I've just pushed it through, so it's just starting to push through. And I'm holding this end against it so I can pull it. And as I twist, you can see it's getting pulled into that channel, and then now it's all the way around. Just hook it over to the motor, and that looks like it's going to do well. So pop that back. Oh, <laughs> before we do that, let's put that connector on. That would have been annoying, get it all back together and it wouldn't spin round. So we pop that back in there, push it straight down. Now put all the screws back. It's at this point you can actually test it without having to put anything else on. So I'm going to push the on button to power it up. And then I'm going to tell it to do some cleaning. Starting to clean. And you can see that's spinning as expected. Once you've done your little test, make sure you don't suck up all your screws with it. You can put all your panels back on. Now make sure again when you put this on you've used the smaller screws at the front because you need that pivot. You'll hear it click. If it's not clicking there's definitely something wrong. And then you put these three in and they, you just keep spinning these all the way down. These three all the way down till they just hit the deck. And you're pretty much done. I'll show you how to pop this panel on. <sighs> Give it a quick gust of air there, just to make sure it's nice and dust free while you're at it. Start at the back, work your way forward, and that's it. You really are finished. Look out for other Roborock videos, and thank you for watching.